Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our experiment, the sand versus the eggshell bin as a source for grit. So I wanted to get these bins opened and see what we had. So you can see right away where our tomatoes were because we have sprouts. So I wanted to see how many worms we had in the area. And there we go. Definitely not all of them, but that's a good a good number of them. So it does look like they're getting into this. If you remember, we started with a really small number of worms. Um, I'm gonna turn these sprouts in. Um, 50 worms in each bin here. So let's look at our sand. I'm sorry, is that the sand? This is eggshell, I'm sorry. So now we'll look at the eggshells. Um, not seeing worms right there. Here we go. Same situation, they're getting into it. So that definitely, on camera focus, definitely gave them a good start. So I think we'll give them a small feeding today and I think I will add a little bit of bedding. So let me get something together for them and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I added um, three cups of coconut core to each of these bins. A cup was an easy measuring source for me, so that's what I did. Um, and since we fed down here, I figured we'd go to the other corner. So I'm just gonna clear this out. This is the eggshell bin. And I think we can really get them going with some watermelon. So, that's four, uh, almost four ounces, but it is very water rich. So I'm going to bury this back up. I'm not going to add additional um, eggshell today because we started with a good amount. Starting next week, we'll be adding the eggshell and uh, the sand to our bins. But for starting out purposes, we have plenty. So I'm just going to make sure this is well well covered with the coconut core. I'll level out the rest of the bedding here. I still have it very shallow, but to get started, there's no need to go overboard with that. So then over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll dig out a trench. I'll get my watermelon pieces. <clears throat> and we'll bury it back up and level out our bedding. Move our toilet paper roll to mark our feeding. So next week we'll check over here where we had the tomatoes, over here where we had the tomatoes, and then we'll move on to the next corner where we'll have the watermelon. So. Just wanted to give you guys this quick update today. Um, I'm excited that we are getting this going. The worms did move into our feeding zones already. So, um, so far so good. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys next week for an update. Gotta make sure we get proper lids on proper bins here. So before I move them anywhere, pop these lids back on. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.